Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with Rosetta and her mate Troyus and their new litter of puppies, who apparently are doing very, very well. Oh my goodness, it's so hard to see all of them though. They are all kind of tucked away inside. Hi guys! They're all tucked away inside of the grasses, so it's a little tricky to see them. But look at Troyus! He's just rolling around. He wants to play with Beaver. And then we've got Thorn, Journey, Delphidium, Bee, and Rosebud. And thank you guys very much for letting me know that, yes, we have had a Thorn in our wolf packs before. So after some of your guys' suggestions, we're actually going to rename this little Thorn, not Thorn the second, but actually Rose Thorn. So yes, we have Rosebud and Rose Thorn, but I thought it would be really fun to maybe see if those two personalities might potentially be best friends, the same Rose Bush, one might say, or they might end up being kind of like rivals. It looks like Rosebud is our runt of the litter, unfortunately. She's actually really far behind all of her siblings, so it's gonna be a little tricky to try to get her strong enough. Rosebud, Rosebud, oh, there you are, Rosebud. All right, so it's gonna be a little tricky to try to make sure that she is going to be strong enough to be able to face the world and hopefully survive all the way to adulthood. And I'm so glad that you guys have already started to fall in love with the puppies. There's Delphinium just playing around with us. And then we've got Rose Thorn over there. Beaver is just lying down. Delphinium, Delphi is always trying to like dig things up, which I think is pretty cute. Uh, Journey does seem to be sticking really close to us too. <gasps> Delphinium! Delphinium curses! All right, look, two seconds, two seconds of wandering. Delphinium, you cannot wander away like that. Like our pack affinity is all the way up. You should be staying close. You shouldn't be taking after your cousins, your distant cousins over in the Dawn Moon pack where like half, half of Lark's puppies just wandered away, you guys. I was stunned by that. Like what? We didn't need that kind of trouble. That was just silliness. But all right, speaking of not needing any trouble and needing to take good care of our family, let's go ahead and tell everybody to go inside. Let's see, because we have six pups with this group, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. I just have to double, triple check sometimes because we jump back and forth, back and forth in between the two packs so often. Uh, and we only have two boys. It's a really female heavy group this time around. So Journey and Beaver are our two boys. Then Delphi, Rose Thorn, Rosebud, and Bee. It, it's kind of fitting that Rosetta might, you know, just happily name two pups after herself. Our, our females, there we go. Okay, and they're safely tucked away. All right, let's go ahead and let's go get them some more food. Troyus, what do you think? Just these two, I swear. Don't they make such an iconic couple? I really feel like They've just been so happy. Really, other than the struggle of trying to find enough territory, we've been able to go ahead and let's have Troyus come follow us. We've been able to go ahead and like get territory, do our hunting. Troyus is now with us. We'll do a little sniff sniff to make sure that the area is more or less safe. And let's actually go see if we can find some beavers this time, you guys. All right, so there was a snowshoe here nearby. There's a lot of prospect pack territory scent markers, so we might want to work on that. They're also next to a grizzly bear. Oh, there we go. Troyus and Rosetta have gone ahead and spooked themselves a nice, a nice rabbit, lucky rabbit's foot. And then I'm curious, what was that? What scent mark is this? A fox? All right, what do we smell over here? Bison? So apparently there's a bison nearby. And a cougar, geez. Everybody else is having quite an interesting time of it. But are there any beavers? That's what I really want to see. I want to come over here and see if we can stumble upon some beavers. Because I know Lark happened to stumble upon some of them. And we need to get at least seven more beavers for the whole family now. Something's close by. There's bison nearby. Oh dear! Alright, well let's go ahead and do a little bit of deer hunting. Don't mind if I do. Alright, come on. I need Troyus to come and join us in just a second here. Oh, look at these two go! Alright, she's closing in. 
closing in. Still a little bit to go. Got him. All right, so this was a pretty healthy mule deer, but I'm hoping if we have both our wolves working on this, I'll go ahead and scent mark for just a minute. And maybe do a little howling. I can't check how strong our strength is on this hunt or on this territory after all, so I just have to keep howling and hoping. And then let's try coming up and around. Aha, and there she is. And chase her back towards our pups. You look like pup food to me. All right. Not a beaver, but I will definitely take a good doe. Oh, look at Troy, he's so strong. Good, come on, you guys. You guys have got this. Actually, I have no idea how strong Troyus is, but Rosetta is pretty powerful. All right. Powerful enough to go ahead and definitely fight with this doe. I swear, these two are just so good at what they do. What the heck? Just like that. They're so good at what they do. Like, barely any scratch on Rosetta. Fantastic. I can only assume that maybe we have gone ahead... Now these two can go ahead and do their feeding. Troyus is being a little shy, but I think he's just like, oh, I kind of leapt in and ate all of that before you. Sorry about that. All right, we'll save that chunk and take it over to our den in just a little bit. Let's continue eating. Look at how two hungry wolves can actually... Here, let's pick up this meat chunk. Two hungry wolves can actually go ahead and more- He's like trying to play- Don't roll in the dead deer carcass, Troyus, please. Like, you're probably gonna smell pretty darn bad if you do that. What the heck? Grizzly bear, Troyus! This way. Oh, man. That would actually be a really bad thing to run into. We're in a fight with the grizzly bear? Troyus, come on. We don't need that nonsense. Let the grizzly bear tear apart that pine tree. We're better than that. All right. Oh! Oh, that's why! There was a whole bison carcass. Are you kidding me? There's a dead fox over here, too! We have just, uh, like, approached the scene of quite a bit of slaughter. So I think that this fox must have been hungry and, like, coming over to try to steal from this bison carcass. Look at this. The eagles and the crows are everywhere. That's why there was the grizzly bear. I think the grizzly bear killed the, the, like, fox. What the heck? Is there a stranger wolf nearby? Prospect Peak wolves are getting awful close. All right. Well, with all of that drama going down, I actually want to go a little bit more to the east. All right, grizzly bear. Yeah, this is where the grizzly bear came through. But I don't like that the Prospect Peak apparently is really, really close on scent. Because this is supposed to be, like, our territory so that we can do our beaver hunting later. So while we're here, let's go ahead and howl a few times. And we'll go back to the puppies in just a little bit. Troyus, do not already be itching a scratch. Because I swear, if you're already itchy, that's going to make our life, like, really, really tough. Because I can't see where the dens are and I don't want to have to move dens until the last minute, Troyus. Oh boy, I wonder if we could actually see... Yeah, I think we can see without looking at the den markings in the map, because Rosetta's challenge is not to look at the map. Um, okay. Fleas are only at 9%, Troyus. Please stop scritch scritching. You're, you're making me a little nervous. Alright, we'll just keep howling for a moment. Since we've already done a hunt, there's no concern about chasing away prey. And that will just help me feel a little bit more secure with knowing that this is now 100% blocked off. All right, meanwhile. Yeah, the Prospect Peak scents are just coming from this direction. Snowshoe hair. Oh, oh, did you guys see that? Wow! There's some intense hunts going on in the forest today. So we've seen a grizzly bear hunting a bison and like taking out a fox who tried to steal its prey. And we just saw a bald eagle hunt a fish right next to us. That is so cool. And there's another one of the swimming rabbits. Aha. And then we want to wiggle over here. Because I think this is also one of our spots too. 
Yes, this is right into- Oh, a beaver! We spooked a beaver! Yes, okay, so this is a wonderful beaver crossing. Right here, I see it! Oh my goodness, okay. So we spooked the beaver, like, out of the water, which was not what I intended to do. Uh, but maybe we'll be able to go ahead and wait for it to come back out and do a little bit of hunting. And until then, because if we can drag home a whole beaver, because I think you can carry the beavers, I, I am not sure about that. Maybe it's too early in to be able to carry beavers, but if we could do that, what an amazing day of like hunting and victory that this would be in the forest. I wonder if Rosetta's Generation 4 is just going to be this break in the intensity of all of the Dark Moon battles, and I wonder if this just might be an easy time for the Dark Moon pack. Alright, let's go ahead. We're going to try to crouch and give this area a little sniff. I think I smell a beaver. Let's see, those are our own footprints. And then, where or oh, where is the beaver trail? I think it's like right, right over here. Okay, do I smell or see a beaver? I think we may have spooked it back in for good. Okay, okay. Yeah, we may have spooked the beaver this time, but it did pop out at some point. Right over, this is Troyus. And it came out right here, so we do know that there is a good way to come back and do a little bit of beaver hunting, which would be pretty fantastic. Uh, and you know what? Let's actually start heading home. There's a mule deer. And maybe we can investigate along the edges of the waterway. We might find that bison again. Or we might get really lucky and find ourselves... Okay, that was Troyus. Potentially a beaver. I think their little dam is actually quite close after all. But what an amazing day! Like, what the heck? Everything and everyone seems to be doing some powerful hunting. Yeah, this was us running along the river a little bit earlier. But everything seems to be doing a really busy, busy day of hunting and fighting and battling for their lives here in the thick forest around McBride Lake. I have to remember all of these places manually, like with using my own memory, because we cannot check the map to double check. And I think seeing that beaver got Troyus really excited, and he wants to hopefully bring home some beaver to the pups at some near point in the future. So we'll... There's the bison. Yeah, one of you guys definitely got eaten. I think, was that kind of close? Was... Oh! Troyus! 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 Help me out here, buddy! Troyus! Why is it so hard to look on this beaver? Go, 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 go! Oh, he's really far! <gasps> come on, come on, come on! Troyus, help out! Help out! Come on, Troyus! Together, we've got this! Come on, Troyus! Yes, block him! Troyus! Troyus! Troyus, come on! Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, that's great for the beaver. I'm actually really happy for the beaver, but what a way for them to manage to escape yet again. Oh my gosh. And down he goes. All right. Well, it's a little tricky because I think Rosetta just kind of dances in place because she doesn't know what to do with herself when it comes to beavers. But hey, we found ourselves another little dam in the lodge. So there's even more places that we can come and search for some beavers. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sad that that guy actually managed to escape. Uh, that, that's good on him. Doing his best to live his life. And meanwhile, is that a beaver way over there? That is a cougar taking a nap. Okay, we're gonna go check on the pups if that was a cougar taking a nap up by the lake. Makes me a little nervous, just a bit, to see that. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and head home and see how all of the pups are doing. We are getting rather tired after all, but it definitely seems 
Like we let yet another beaver get away, but we're gonna do our best to try to correct that next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Rosetta and her pups. So far, it seems like the forest is full of fierce fighting, but it hasn't reached our den just yet. So we'll have to see if this is going to be just a time of peace for the Dark Moon Pack. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Whoop. Okay, she's really eager to see the puppies. Bye-bye. <laughs>